There are two kinds of diversities. Alpha diversity refers to diversity within a site, while beta diversity means diversity among sites. We will talk about length abundance curve for alpha diversity and unique flock for beta diversity today. To understand length abundance curve, let's see the table. For alpha diversity, we will see how many different bacteria are there within each sample. Could you guess which sample have more diversity? It can be very hard questions. If you think higher number of spe species in the sample has more diversity, it will be sample 1. If you think the diversity is from the gap of the abundance between the highest and the lowest, it will be sample 2. It might be look easy as the number of genus are only 6 in this example. However, in the real data, we have thousands or 10,000 number of bacteria, thus it's hard to see which sample has more diversity. In the example, we can remake the table with the order of the abundance for each genera. And then we will draw a graph using the data. For the sample one, we can draw this figure. For the sample two, we can draw this figure. Two graphs have difference in terms of slope and the last tail of the graph. In slope, you can see the sample two has more stiff slope. Sample 1 has more thick tails because it has more number of genus compared to sample 2. In summary, we can have two concepts for alpha diversity, which are evenness and richness. We can evaluate if the sample have high um, alpha diversity based on evenness or richness. Let's see beta diversity, which means diversity among sites. Here is the table for features by samples. As beta diversity is the diversity among samples, we will build a distance table by samples. In Unifrog, to calculate the distance between samples, they use phylogenetic distance. Figure A shows that the communities between sample 1 and sample 2 are pretty similar. Figure B shows that the communities between sample 1 and sample 2 are very distinct. To test the two samples are significantly different, they used bootstrapping method. The same method can be applied to more than two samples, and then the distance matrix can be built. Using the distance matrix, we can draw PCA plot to see the diversities between samples.